in this video uh, we're gonna learn time reversible markup chain and first um, let's consider our setting um, all we have is a um, ergodic and irreducible and uh, a stationary uh, markup chain And uh, uh, I will explain a bit what uh, does this uh, stationary mean. Ergodic means uh, um, it's not uh, uh, periodic, it's aperiodic. And stationary means uh, we essentially we have already um, as pi equals pi times uh, the probability transition matrix and we can think this stationary being uh, this market chain has been in operation for a long time as the textbook uh, says so and uh, uh, if we think about this this is something like uh, so I'm drawing some state space uh, suppose we have a uh, state space so I'm drawing in this way, which is the random walk instead of a, a traditional diagram of a transition. Uh, suppose this is uh, m minus one. Uh, let me use the textbook notation, which is m minus one, and this is x m, and this is x m plus one. And uh, for example, we have uh, x m plus two. Stationary means uh, pi is the same which is a distribution is the same for all these uh, um, times all right uh, for example we can think uh, a sample path um, this is a state zero this is state one and this is a state two and we can have uh, our markup chain at uh, um, m minus one is here and then jump to uh, state one at uh, time m and uh, continue to be in state one in time m plus one and jump to maybe say uh, to state zero at m plus 2. Meanwhile, we can also consider instead of uh, um, this uh, from here to here to here to here, this kind of a forward uh, markup chain, we can also consider, for example, we start here and uh, we trace where um, we come into this state backward. So for example, at m um, plus two, and we can backtrack uh, at uh, m plus one, and we're at a state zero, and similarly we backtrack further, maybe say, uh, we're at state two uh, at time m, and uh, Maybe we're at state zero um, at time m minus one. All right. So here I'm gonna write on the claim. First, we know that the uh, original Markov chain is essentially, let's say, m minus one, x sub m, x m plus one, etc. All right. And then we can trace uh, this markup chain backward. And what we have is instead of uh, going in an incremental fashion for the indices, we go backward 
from m x sub m plus 1, x sub m, x sub m minus 1, etc. Right? And here is our claim. Our claim is the following. Um, let me define the following markup chain, which is a backward um, this stochastic process. All right. This stochastic process is also a markup chain. Before we present the proof, uh, I want to first want I want to talk about some of heuristics why this is the case, why we can trace um, this markup chain backward and uh, another markup chain. Um, I think the heuristics is pretty straightforward. It's a given um, the present, and let's say uh, this uh, we are at. Uh, x sub m plus 1, uh, the past and future are essentially independent. Now we'll, we'll see in a moment um, why this is the case. If a is in independent with uh, b, let's say two random variables, and then uh, b is independent with a, so which means the future, if we, from the future point of view, it's independent with the past. And this is essentially um, this is a Markovian property, right? And now let's uh, uh, show rigorously how uh, this is the case. And the proof is essentially we want to verify this condition probability. Uh, keep this in mind. We're currently at um, we're currently at x sub m plus one. Let's say uh, we're at state i here, and uh, we also uh, know all these uh, future states where we are. And we're curious of uh, what is uh, um, the prob this condition probability of uh, the past. Um, this is a present. And these are future, and this is a uh, one step uh, to the past. It's equal to without all those uh, future 